Coming on to the DDFB Tucson Peace. Amen. Those papers that have the Passion of Christ that you read along with me, you can take them home and meditate on them. Meditate on this passion that Jesus went through. And why did he go through his passion? Because we are rebellious. We human beings, from the beginning of Adam and Eve until today, we are very rebellious. The other word for rebellion is sin. Sin continues to cause the passion of Jesus Christ. And we want to be sorry and change. So how can we change, live this Holy Week in a deep way? Today, till Easter Sunday, try to be quieter, more prayerful. No TV. Hopefully none of you watch TV anymore. That's just all evil stuff. And no music. You know, try to have a quiet environment. Don't be always on the your cell phone, internet. Really try to disconnect from distractions that would take us away from this time of grace. That's why it's called Holy Week. Because it's just tons of graces will be poured out on those who pay attention. As you will notice, most people don't even remember. Many people do come for palms on Palm Sunday. But on Good Friday, you'll notice from 12 to 3, when Jesus is terribly dying on the cross, people be shopping, driving, listening to their rap music, everything just the same, sinning, they'll be everything just the same as normal. They won't even notice that it's the time every year when Jesus Christ, for three hours, hung on the cross in horror, pain, the worst ever thing, I mean, all the evil on top of his shoulder. So the schedule that if you can try to live the schedule is that, so on Holy Thursday, there will be the uh, Mass of the Last Supper, which is with the washing of the feet of the Apostles, and that's at 6 o'clock here. Then we will process with the... <coughs> Blessed Sacrament into the other room and repose it. Then you can adore Jesus. The night of Holy Thursday is when Jesus said, Can't you just keep awake one hour with me? Can't you accompany in my agony just one hour? So we try to at least give one hour that evening to Jesus after the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Then on Good Friday, it will be at 3 o'clock. So don't get confused, because people like the same hour every day, they can remember, but 6 o'clock in the evening, the Mass, Good Friday, when Jesus died. You can remember it that way. 3 o'clock. We're having the, um, the Passion, you'll hear again, the Passion reading, very long. It'll be a different Passion. And then there will be the um, veneration of the cross. I have a true relic of the cross. You'll be able to kiss that and venerate it. And then there will be Holy Communion. It is not the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. There's no Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on Good Friday or Holy Saturday until Holy Saturday at night. I will not be doing a vigil Holy Saturday Night Mass here, uh, but we'll have Easter Sunday Mass at the normal time, 10 o'clock. So really think about how you can live this Holy Week, I would say, in two ways to remember. Reflect on how Jesus went through it each day, leading up to the Last Supper, the betrayal, in the Garden of Gethsemane, his agony there, and the uh, Good Friday, his death, his being in the tomb, and his resurrection. Try to, 
identify with Jesus, try to see how your sins caused that to happen. And then also to go through this Holy Week with Mary, what Mary is experiencing in all these days, what she felt. The love between Jesus and Mary is so beautiful we will never understand. But for that reason it caused Mary the greatest pain you could ever imagine in her soul to see her son go through what he did. Maybe it'll help cause us to have a little bit of sympathy for Jesus. And we need to have this sympathy for Jesus. And then maybe we will stop sinning. So really meditate on connecting your sins causing Jesus all this horror. Oh man, forgive me Jesus, help me never sin again and hurt you again. How many batteries have you need to speak to